Hello guys, recently I received this comment, this question on LinkedIn. Do I have a video about large file upload? And apparently I didn't. Although in the past I did have tutorials about file upload and it seemed to me that the topic is covered. So one of the examples is FilePond in Laravel, article from 2022 when I covered FilePond in a few videos in the past, but apparently I haven't touched the large file upload topic. But I remember using FilePond for that in the past and I asked my colleague Nerius to recreate the situation and check if the FilePond still works for that in 2025. And in this video I will show you the demo project with the code and the code will be on GitHub for free, no membership required, to upload something like this. So mp4 files with 50 megs or 100 megabytes with chunk uploads with FilePond. Let's begin. So first the demonstration. Here I am in a demo project based on Laravel Starter Kit and let's choose some video file. For example, here's a file of 50 megs and see what happens inside of FilePond. Upload complete and then the file is here uploaded successfully. The file is actually uploaded into storage app private uploads and this is the mp4 file here and now let me show you the code. So this is all powered by FilePond, a library, JavaScript library for upload, free on GitHub. And to install it into Laravel project, all you need to do is npm install and then add that to resources, JS app, JS and CSS. So this is exactly what I did in my project. So FilePond here in the package JSON and resources, JS app, JS has FilePond as well. And then resources, CSS app, CSS on top of default Laravel we have import of FilePond CSS. Then npm run build and then I can use FilePond in the code. Now in dashboard blade, let's close the sidebar. We have a table of files and then on top we have input type file without any form here. Then down below there's a plain JavaScript push scripts and then we basically follow the syntax of official documentation of FilePond which looks like this implementation example document query selector and then file pond create then it initialized the file pond element for the upload and then inside you're free to use whatever parameters or features of the file pond that you want in this case we will use chunk uploads this is the official documentation that we need to set chunk uploads to true and then we deal with chunk size and then there's explanation i will link that in the description below so you can read it yourself, what happens at which point with chunks and then how it all comes together. But in the code, we define chunk uploads true, define the size of one meg per chunk, and then we define the server URL, another Laravel route upload, which would process those chunks. And then when the upload is finished, we basically reload the page to show the updated list of files. Now that route upload in the routes web looks like this route match post or patch. Both methods would work and we have upload controller with invocable method, single action controller, and we have two Laravel services created, one for chunk upload and then another for file upload. And each time that upload is hit, one time per one megabyte, we check those request parameters and then we handle chunk upload. Laravel will basically put the temporary files in chunks in the folder storage app private chunks here. Now it is empty because it's cleared already, cleaned up after the upload, but then we save that particular chunk we're interested in with a disk. And then if the size is bigger than the full upload length, then we assemble chunks and then create the actual file. Assemble chunks is the method to collect the chunks and then put the disk with assembled content and then clean up the chunks. So basically, let me show you now in the storage app private chunks, if we upload something, for example, let me upload some other mp4 file and look what happens here in chunks. As you can see, the chunks are being created along the way while the upload is running. That chunk upload service is pretty complex and I will put that on GitHub so you can take a look yourself. There are methods like generate safe file name, private methods for cleanup temp chunks. So yeah, it will be on GitHub, but it does work. For this to work, I didn't have to change anything in the settings of my Laravel herd locally powered by Nginx or in PHP any settings or in Laravel validation. 
because the chunk is one megabyte and it doesn't require bumping any server settings for bigger upload. Now let's take a look what happens in the network tab after I chose the file and click upload. As you can see uploading and there are a lot of upload requests. So this is what happens under the hood when you launch this upload with chunks. The second option is to not use FilePond directly with upload and route but instead have Laravel FilePond package installed. What that actually does. If we take a look at the docs we have compose require, render publish and then in quick start you still need to have installed FilePond library on the front end so in JS or npm install but then if we take a look at example we have form with the same thing FilePond create and then you provide the server URL like we did just a minute ago but the difference is that you don't have to manually process that upload you just set the file name and you move FilePond object to for example whatever folder that you want and of course you need to add FilePond here on top in the use section from the package. So yeah you may want to take a look at that Laravel way of handling uploads. I've tried it but since I had already working version fully with FilePond and handling the uploads this version didn't bring that much value to me personally but still I will put it on GitHub both branches in the same repository and I will put the link in the description below so you would try it out. So what do you guys think? Do you also use FilePond for file uploads in general? or what tools or techniques you use for uploading larger files, like for example videos. Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.